Hi, this is Tim Blankenship with Divorce661.com. Today we are here with Janelle Percy with Edward Jones, and today we're talking about important things you should look at uh, in regards to retirement and, or I'm sorry, Social Security um, and things of that nature while going through divorce. And uh, Janelle was nice enough to come in today so we could talk about some of these important topics. So maybe you could just introduce yourself. Hi, yes, I'm Janelle Percy, like you said, with Edward Jones. I've been with Edward Jones for about three years. Uh, prior to being with Edward Jones, I was a pilot in the Air Force. Really? Yeah, so I flew uh, MC-130s, refueled helicopters, and been living in Santa Clarita for about four years now. Very cool. Let's talk more about that. Yeah? Yeah. MC-130, is that different than a C-130? We were special operations. So okay. We refueled helicopters, dropped uh, off uh, Special Army, uh, okay. Army Special Forces. Flew many a times on a C-130, oh, yeah? the cargo nets, yes. Yes, the red yes. seats. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's talk about uh, Social Security benefits. Um, specifically, there are two types of benefits, right? There's, there's spousal benefits and then there's survivor benefits benefits, is that correct? Correct, so you get the spousal benefits if your divorced spouse is still alive, and then the divorced survivor benefits are if they have passed away. So they're a little bit different. Okay, let's tackle this in two uh, chunks here. Let's first talk about uh, divorced spousal benefits. So this is both parties are still living. Right. Um, let's talk about some of the um, re rules and requirements. Okay. Uh, well, the earliest you can receive the benefits is if you're 62 years old. Uh, if you wait till your full retirement age, which depends very on uh, when you're born. So uh, if you have any questions, you can give me a call on what exactly your uh, full retirement age is. Um, but then you are entitled to 100% of your benefits or 50% of your divorced spouse's benefits. Okay, and I'd ask you some specific questions off camera. What would make, why would one want 50% of their other spouse's, of their spouse's benefits versus 100% of their own? Well, in some cases, the divorced spouse was making a lot more money and has a higher uh, social security benefit than uh, you're going to have. Mm -hmm. So you want to look at that. If for some reason, maybe they're making $2,000 and you're only making 500, you're entitled to half their benefits, which would be $1,000 a month instead of the 500. So it's a case by case. You want to go and uh, get statements for both your social security benefits and determine which one would be uh, better for you. Okay. And so particularly if you have a, a family where the husband perhaps worked and maybe the wife took care of the kids, that would be a scenario where this would you know, could possibly be a factor they'd want to take a look at this? Uh, definitely. Or if the husband made a lot more money mm -hmm. uh, than the wife did, if she had a, a lower paying job as well. Okay. Now, there are some requirements as far as length of marriage. Is that correct? Can you give us some detail yes. on that? Yes. Um, you have to be married at least 10 years to be able to claim this in both situations. Um, so. If you're close to the 10-year point, you might want to delay a little bit just to give, you, give yourself the option um, as being able to claim mm -hmm. that their benefits as well. So with this 10-year rule, is it 10 years and a day and, you, and this, this is applicable yes. to them? Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely something they'll want to consider when going through a divorce if you're over 10 years to see how that plays out. Can you get copies from the state as far as your disability payments? Will they give you... Uh, for the Social Security, for, you go on the uh, Social, Security, oh, Social uh, Security website. Uh -huh. So they'll go on the website and you can get a copy of uh, yours and your spouse's benefits. And you see can. What they're gonna be. It's as simple right. as going online? Yeah, you have to create an account for mm -hmm. yourself, but yeah, you can go okay. online and uh, or else call the Social Security um, department, but it's easier usually to go online. Gotcha. Okay. Well, that's great information on the spousal benefits. Um, I just want to touch on one topic. If you're going to claim the divorce spousal benefits, what is the rule in regards to being getting remarried? You would lose it if you get remarried? Is, is, am I reading that correctly? Yes. If you're remarried, uh, you can't get this unless your second marriage ends in a divorce. If your second marriage ends, then mm. if it was longer than 10 years, then you have a choice of whose you want to claim. You can so, claim either spouse. Oh, interesting. So I, you get divorced, you're collecting, let's say, and you remarry, that would terminate the collection of Social Security from the prior marriage? Yes, it would. Okay. 
And then if they divorced again, then they have the, well, they'd have to be married at least another 10 years. Right. And then they have the <coughs> option. Um, if they do get divorced before 10 years, mm -hmm. they can claim the first spouse's social security. They can go back, revert back right. and claim it. Okay. So when spouses say, oh, I hope they get remarried, it's not an end all to the social security. They could come back if the first, second marriage doesn't work out either. Right. And the social <coughs> security really doesn't affect <coughs> the spouse. It's the government's paying it. It's not mm -hmm. detrimental. You're not taking away any of either spouse's social security benefits. It's the government. Oh, it's that's not paying. deducted from the spouse. No, the government is taking it. So it's not like you're, um, if you have yours and you get divorced and now your spouse is claiming yours, mm -hmm. It's not going to reduce yours at all. So, it's so there's no detriment to the other party to do this. No, there's not. So they should certainly look at this right. when going through divorce. It's not going to harm the other party at all. No, it's not going to harm them. It's uh, just a government benefit. Because <clears throat> we've had clients say, I am to keep all of my Social Security uh, benefits. They, they've said that to us. But had they not said that, it's not going to impact them negatively the, the anyways. Only, the only way that it could possibly is if in the divorce decree it's stated that if the spouse gets a thousand dollars, they have to pay um, the other spouse some portion of that, like a percentage, right? And that would just be in in the decree. If you're saying mm -hmm. you know spousal support, you're going to collect some of the social mm -hmm. security. If you're just filing through the government, it doesn't affect anyone's. So would you say? <clears throat> I'm sure you've seen this in a couple different fashions. 